chill then. I'm not even loaded to the game and they already sp uh, spam the chat wheel. Oh my. Prepare for battle! Is there any decent enough cameraman I can use? Yeah, I guess I'll use the uh, the Chinese one. <laughs> yeah, still server problem. Magic is an abomination. Heads up, we're back. Kala. <laughs> oh my. What did you learn? The silence deepens. Calm. I'm all for a little downtime. You feeling fresh? Even trying. What did you learn? I think this guy's casting by himself as well. Can I have someone else to be the cam man for me? I'll just use the same guy, I guess. Yep. Or shaker with one sentry. Gaben, please fix the server. You're earning so much from our battle pass. Next Three, two, one, let's go! Alright, so Sven is gonna start beating Rappi down. 30 seconds to showtime! It's gonna be Sven starting to already top lane. somewhere, now's the time to start! Ooh. Ooh, so first level, Shadow Poison. Quite a chunk of damage gonna be done. Three charges. On Dark Seer, Sven beating down the Pangolier. Four charges Let on Dark Seer. Begin! Whew. Okay, Nepo. Let's try right. to go this for the rune. Land you on it's gonna be two street. for two. A wyvern's breath. The wyvern getting beat down quite a lot by Sensor. Time to go back to lane unless he TP's back to the shrine. Trades being done by RR. Gonna go for five charges. Oof! That's harsh. And anti mage buying the Quillen Blade and coming back to the last hit. A bit of harassment from Rear Shaker. And Darkseer is gonna burn down all of his region. Looking to go for a creep pulling behind the uh, from behind the tower and TP's back for some levels.
Please. Denied. So bottom lane, Darks is really getting heavily pressured. Some lane Denied. is being done, but yeah, still hard for Darks here after burning off all his region. One. And top lane, Rappi is gonna First get brought down. Last word. Red Panda. <laughs> 345 gold. Towards the first blood. Urshaker looking to be the one standing in the front. Might be the one taking the farm for a bit, just for now. No mana. And Dark uh, Shadow Demon looking to beat down every single. Bits of YRG. <laughs> Mark positioning himself, actually trying to bring down AQ, but the flame guard is might be too much for him. One more hit. Oh, kind of not in range. Might actually be a partial partial from the lag. Ember spirit with level two flame guard nearly killed the necrophos right there. Bottom lane and top lane trading farm pretty fine. With apology. Okay, where were we? Mm, I mean, there's sun, sir, so that's kind of probably what's preventing winter from yeah, printing winter from being that useful in lane. And there. There you go. But if you overextend here, then I think they might actually be able to bring him down. I think Pango can actually bring him down there if he has the E, but nope. They're just gonna push the red panda away and nothing's gonna happen. Are pushing out with that shadow poison three stacks, four stacks for you. The rune of invisibility. Uh, four stacks still gonna hit for a lot. And five for you. Oof. Silencer is gonna deny himself. The silence is. Seriously, tower. The kill credits goes towards. Uh, the winter Wyvern still. Since I think in the past notes. The rune of that illusion. They kind of increase the other duration before you're gonna get credit towards the Radiant Retire, right? Yeah, I think so. With her burn. Oof! Not gonna be enough, and he's gonna fall. 180 gold, so. Oh, Shrine is going to be used, and it's going to be 2 for. Yeah. 3 for 1 rune in the favor of. For the dream, in terms of rune. And level 6 you hit uh, on Mar Mark, and yep, AQ is going to go down. 30 seconds on the timer. Should be around 15 plus. 15, yeah, being 30 cooldown. Yep, yep. 
into where we're in providing just the Heads up. We're vision for a bit. A sweet I actually have to heal up right there behind Dyer's the tower. Middle tower looks to be disintegrated. Or Shaker and Darkseer looking to actually roam towards mid. No. Darkseer is gonna go for Dyer's middle tower's in trouble. Which oh, one's shit, Dyer shit. again? Shoot, shoot. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Is there any command I can use to prevent my friends from actually whispering? Alt F4? No. <laughs> I'm not gonna make you guys a meme for Alt F4 and screw up the cast. <laughs> generation. Nice try though. <laughs> Alright, no Ghost Shroud for Necrophos, since it's a matchup that re really ha relies on how you can burst and heal. I think it's two bursts and then you take out the Flame Guard. It's 360 no scope. Against, uh, yeah, 200, 250, yeah, around two Death Pulse. Ten span of 10 seconds if you hit your Death Pulse and you're gonna take down the shield. Because it's just like, yeah, 500. And plus the E as well, so... Huh? Alright, bottom lane. Skadilicious might actually fall here. Already blinked out. Uh, blinked out. But Urshaker had the... Hey, but still oh. there, but not for long. Earthshaker, Yuna nearly actually land the stun once again. Two points on aftershock, but not gonna be able to kill. Seems like a revenge lane for Mark here. Is it? No, it, that was Scott Radiant's delicious, bottom I think. tower yeah. is under attack. New followers. And no mana for you. No. No more flame guard. But nope, the size is not gonna be enough. Ember Spirit has to be forced to go back oh to base. My. Probably gonna spare the spirit for a bit and then go back to the base. Nope, not just yet. Just gonna actually use it. No, yeah, it's gonna do that so now. Aiming for that face boots. That seems like a long way to go. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Necrophos looking to build the Hood of Defiance really fast. Bottom tower needs a hand. Yuna really making space off her docks here. here. Doesn't even have boots eight minutes in. Meanwhile, Pangolier doing pretty okay, and Sven getting radiant structures up for pretty soon. Which is now denied. Seems like they're swapping Darks here into position four, are they? No. Dyer's doing that glowy thing. There, not to do it till that's done. Either way, Red Panda left the top lane, letting Sven solo. Should be able to do a lot of uh, by, fine by himself against the Pangolier. AQ spotting All out RR. Must end. AM planning to go for more with the mana void he has, but nope. Fly solo getting spotted. Fly solo actually nice. going for the kill before he falls down. Anti mage going back. <laughs> And he's gonna pick up the kill with mana void on the docks here. Thou art damned. Without any mana, Ember Spirit will be able to survive. Oh, 600 HP. It's gonna be enough for level two. Shadow Poison. Wait, how much is it? No, my math is kind of bad. So it's gonna be 16 Invisibility. times plus uh. 
What? <laughs> Time to stack damage based on that, so it's gonna be 35 plus uh, 35 times 16, is it? Oh, my. Dude, my math is so bad. Oh, alright, we're, we're getting initiated on once again in the mid lane. Is anyone gonna save him? No, Fly Solo is gonna fall down once again. Why, oh my. Two intelligence Fly goes towards the silencer. Now, so smart, power. six intelligence. Dice putting up a barricade. Bangalier with the javelin done, looking to actually cost a paybox. It's gonna sh go for the rolling thunder. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower might yep. be going down. But it's gonna be at the cost of I his life. Believe it. With not no mana, just four mana more, he can swashbuckle dizzy. away. Dyer's but he got a magic stick. Is about to be Radiant's top time. rubble. Meanwhile, Necrophos with the hood finish Dyer's plus top Arcane attack. Boots looking to go for the Garden Graves. And that's yeah, net worth. All right. Dyer's top Bring tower down has tower. fallen. Necrophos with the hood. He's stomped down by Earthshaker. Well, the hood actually help though. As you're getting blocked two ways with two walls. <sighs> Four men gang bang and they're gonna bring down March. Ah. Even with the uh, 10 strength talent, it's not really enough when you got four men running behind you. Double damage! His structures are fortified. AQ recovering. Dyer's a bottom bit. tower is getting pushed around. There's still quite some way to go before he <laughs> get dropped. Plus the Maelstrom and be kind of relevant and going towards a team fight mid game. Sven with the MOM going for the uh, Echo Saber. Timish approaching the Battle Fury in 1000 gold. But Sven though, with all the cleave he has, 90. Wait, what? So we 90% cleave damage? Alright. How much is Battle Fury? Let me check. So, Battle Fury is. 60%. Oh, so AM has to pay for around, yeah, that much to actually farm with 60% cleave. And Sven can just hit level 7 and just get 90%. The balance in all things. Pangolier is snatching that rune from the Sven and Docs here. With that bottle. Meanwhile, Necro finishing his mechanism in just a few. Middle I already got the, uh, the grand the recipe for the mechanism. For the dream, looking to go for the mid lane here. Stomping down Necrophos, but he's too tanky for you. And that's a nice Winter's Curse. Into Oof. Dyer's top tower is about Necro to be getting brought down here, but it's getting safe. Bango striking down everyone. No. Getting brought down by Shadow Demon, but gonna bring down the Necrophos first before he actually goes Guys, down. And Earthshaker is gonna fall as well. The At the cost of Pangolier and Winter Wyver. Well, that so that's 3 for mine. 2. 
Meanwhile, Anti Mage is enjoying a lot of his farm. With Battle Fury finished by 15 minutes. Forgiven. This could really kick off for Anti Mage since Sven just died in the team fight. With one kill on the Necrophobes, but dying there isn't really gonna. not gonna be ideal for him. Necrophobes, so. Uh, three. Four, five. Six, seven. Six plus five, eleven hundred. Yeah. Oh, AM. Getting stunning locked down. The spirit bomb, but not gonna be enough with the max, nearly max out counter spell. So there is no more, <laughs> no more spirit for Embers to actually get out. W nice Winter's Curse, and they're actually gonna bring down that Dox here. Forty-seven seconds. I read your life. <laughs> Ember. Bruising down everyone so that he can get away. Necrophos coming back. Actually, Sven gonna spot down that Shadow Demon and bring him down in an instant. With that Ghost Ring and the Nazco Saber. Pango, though, is gonna fall down. With the saving attempt from Winter Marvern, but not gonna be enough. And he's forced to come back down here. Hopefully there's no vision, so he can wait 16 more seconds and TP back home safely. Uh, yes, it's, this is on delays. I think it's two minutes delay with the uh, the watch that game thingy. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. I mean, the game is live on here anyway, so I, I'm not sure if delay would be any difference. Dire is scanning for enemies. <sighs> Anti mage more than halfway through with the Yasha. Spend with the blink done. Looking that should be making a presence in his mid game. Oh, and the sun is coming out. And I'm sorry for that. And nothing is gonna happen. Is there Radiant, a do not disturb? For enemies. Uh, communication. Ah. Is there any of those? Oh, Radiance. Ember Spirit AQ looking towards the uh, the Radiance actually annoying that anti mage as well as burning down the Necrophos. And everyone for that matter. So no, no drum just yet. Going for the radiance, and AM is gonna bring down the Sven with the help of two of his teammates, being Pangolier and the Shadow Demon. 400 gold towards uh, towards the Pangolier. Gonna finish the Vanguard, and yeah, Crimson, much needed Crimson this game. Dyer's bottom tower. Don't look good. Monster oh. kill. Oh. Sorry. Discover bottom lane. Pango is gonna fall once again. <laughs> With the help of Ember Spirit. Is there any? Ah, where is it? It's not this one. Ah well, never mind. I'll just put us offline on my Steam, I guess. Yep. Coin for Shut the table. Thanks, chat. Now that's done. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Let's actually focus on the cast. So right now, eight to thirteen. So congratulations Don't to 
those who bet on first 10 kill on for the dream. But we'll see what's happen, uh, what's gonna happen in the game. Not actually certified just yet. Who's gonna win the game? And they're gonna spot down the winner by wearing first AM, spotting the danger Im imminent doom. He's gonna TP a uh, blink away and farm a bit more. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. And they have to sacrifice his mid tower. Or nope, not just yet. Mango is trying to go for more. Silencer actually silencing everyone on the side of the Radiant, but it's not gonna be enough. Necrophobes purging it out with the Guardian Griefs. Pangolier following it the rolling thunder. Couldn't really do much though. It's been running out of cross rings, and that's a really huge Echo Slam bringing down Mark and Fly, Fly Solo. That's a nice search. Radiant's middle tower is not feeling the love. He's gonna root down that pangolier, here, and he's gonna go down just like that. Beast. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Even with the vanguard, that's not gonna be enough. Really looked to be a nice counter initiation coming out from Neon, but that Earthshaker Echo Slam. Kudos to that. anti Mejo haven't really been participating in the fight at all though. So we'll see once he, he's getting the uh, second and third item. All the fights has always been for V5 for Neon. So no wonder it, that's gonna be kinda disadvantageous for them. But we're gonna wait for have to wait for AM. See what he can do. Leading net worth though, I mean despite being 1k lead, but that's kinda huge. But he really needs a lot of item though. Before he can actually join the fight and leave safely. I mean it's 3k gold difference. 2k to 3k, yeah, 2 to 3k in favor of For the Dream, but still. AM is a really huge factor here since he haven't joined the fight at all, but he managed to get spotted here by the Earthshaker. As well as the Silencer. Tower is about to be Radiant's top rubble. Uh, not just yet. Actually, gonna commit towards the top tier 2 tower. Dyer's top tower is under I mean, despite attack. the goal lead, uh, the tower is uh, pretty much the same. Yeah, bottom tower the needs same. a hand. And yeah, looking towards Dyer's the top tower. tower. Has fallen. Winter of Aberrant actually going to sacrifice his life so the what? team can actually push like that. that Anti-mage spotting Sven. Gonna just leave. Blink in, TP out, going for more creeps. And I'm not sure if he's playing anti major or TP, but hey, that item build seems familiar. Picking that pulse heal, uh, that pulse heal for Necrophos challenge. So it's gonna be 160 instead of 120. Much needed heal for his team and himself. Gonna really go the uh, the shot slow. They actually got the LT on towards this event. Actually has to pop the Ghost Strength and go away, uh, go back. But he might actually come in again. Pangolier getting silenced and locked down by the Amateur. Nice Winter's Curse, but that's not gonna save the Pango though. But in exchange for bringing down the Earthshaker. Meanwhile, anti mage split pushing the Mill Tower Tier 2. This might really... This might really look like a great team uh, fight for Dyer's for the dream, but looks to be disintegrated. still, it's a really good split pushing coming out from this AM. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is about to topple. Yeah, two for two 
once again. Still 2k lead, uh, just 2k lead despite the uh, 10k, uh, 11 lead in kills, but that's only 2k lead. Radiant's top tower ain't looking too steady. Uh, yeah. Dyer's bottom tower is under half, attack. More than halfway done with the Scotty. He can actually man fight 1v1 with his fan with that item. No, not actually 1v1, but... But still, he's actually gonna nullify a lot of damage output from this fan with all those lows. Your place and your that's gonna be Ember Spirit done. Over. <laughs> AM casually picking up 824 gold with the godlike streak. AQ might actually gave AM a huge opportunity to actually be the star in the game. Oh, Necro item? Yeah, it's gonna be Grief and Pipe done. Aiming for Lotus Orb next. So we can also uh, purge himself from the silences. Dyer is scanning for enemies. With the boat Garden Greaves, as well as. Uh, well, I mean, he can use Garden Greaves for himself and then purge with Lotus Orb for his friend. So that's a way to go as well. Sven looking to go in, not just yet, can't really go by himself. Sven, oh, blinked up towards uh, the high ground. So he can really put some hits towards the Winter of Warren. And they got no Gosling at the moment, and they actually spot the Dershaker, and he's gonna fall. 82 seconds. Not sure if they have buyback, but they might actually pressure for no. They're just gonna go for rush right away. That's around 3 k lead for Anti-Mage from Sven. So, unless he can one-man show. Mark looking to be a really nuisance just standing there. Silencer is silencing out everyone, but Anti-Mage is just gonna Manta out and just, you know, be himself and Pango. Rolling out, actually got the silencer, but no one is gonna pay attention to silencer. You already use all your spells, but that illusion is still annoying, though. Gordon Greaves use Earthshaker actually bought back. At well, he just got enough gold, I guess. Yeah, actually bought back to participate in the fight, but that's not gonna happen. And they're just gonna go for a Roche attempt as well, with no mana on both Dark Seer and Silencer. It's gonna get pumped up a bit. Ember Spirit with the Blink Radiance. Anti Mage, Scotty finish. Going for Butterfly next. Radiance top towers under attack. And Shadow Demon. Demonic Purge. That's Gaia's a really. Bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, that's hurt. that bottom hurts. Tower has and fallen. On top of that, it's Aether Lens. My. <laughs> and Sven. BKB done, <laughs> but the only damage. Well, the damage output is for himself, but the Echo Saber and. Massive madness. It's like, how much is it? What's damage? One sixty percent. Deceptive rune of invisibility. Uh, bonus. Uh, bonus thirty strength. How much is Die it? Die is bottom tower. Don't look. Yeah, that's kind of all damage. And Ember Spirit looking to burst down the winter of wind. So no curse for you, baby. But that's Ooh. not gonna be enough. Now he's forced to stay there with a the winter's curse. And Earthshaker looking to actually come down, but that's only two men though. Ember Spirit looks to go back. No mana though. Oh, but he has mana just for now. Necro actually gonna fall down. AM actually landed the mana void, but no one is gonna die. Sven with BKB and spotting out RR. He's actually gonna live for now. Angolia coming up with the Rolling Thunder, breaking the formation of. For the dream here. AM actually getting dragged in, but he's gonna bang out like no problem. No. But Neon though, lost, losing three heroes in this fight. Actually, f no. Oh, yeah, three. If I weren't just. I think he didn't buy back now, did he? I think he just died first and then died once again. And it's gonna be immediate Roche attempt. AM couldn't really pull off anything j for now. But it's gonna be the first rush. Going Maybe towards. How does that even work? Oh, AM. Looking to actually go and 
causing some havoc here. But and we're gonna get silenced and brought down. That's not ideal though. Getting silenced by silencer and then bring it down like that. As was Rappy getting brought down there as well with Lotus Orb, but that's not gonna be enough. Never refuse gold given. Radiant's middle tower is not feeling the love. Sixty seconds before AM can come back again. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Oof. Sven just gonna pop up the god strength, and you know what? Your base Radiant is mine. Called in the fortification. Ember Spirit looking to go towards the Shadow Demon, but he's just gonna disrupt himself and then. Oh! Ember Spirit trying to spread bomb, but that's not gonna be enough. And he's gonna get side down. Meanwhile, Swen. Ember Spirit looking to go for more. Nope, not just yet. Gonna try to blink out. Darkseer surging out, but it's gonna run out in a few with AM having a really long range blink, but nope, nothing to do with that. Earthshaker, seems like he's just gonna stay there, no one's gonna see him, for now. Is that Amulet or, yeah, that's Amulet. So, unless they put down a ward to actually scout out this cliff. That looks nice though. The anti mage spotting out the Amber Spirit, buddy, and forcing him to TP out. As I mean, Infection remnant out. Surges. Regeneration on Necrophos, and his item is gonna be Lotus Orb, which is gonna be done in around 14 every gold. Nova Burn looking to build the bling as his last resort. And a health. Oh my. It's a game of surviving and then just land one good ultimate for Winter Wyvern, and that's all you have to do. I mean, Shadow Demon can really be a nuisance with Demonic Purge. And yep, if you get spotted, that's what's gonna happen to Fly Solo. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Wait, what? AM bottom back? Radiant's bottom tower needs a hand. Did he? Radiant's bottom tower has so. fallen. Oh, wait, what? He did. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh, Radiant's bottom okay. shrine is under I attack. I'm not sure how I missed that, but hey. Yeah. Oh, and he has Dyer's actually got a rat and tier 3 rubble. dropping down Radiant to around 40-30%. But Necrophos getting spot there though. Sven Dyer's coming out, stunning, trying to bring him Radiant's out, but he's gonna pop in the shroud. And getting healed to full. Are Disruption coming in. AM coming to join the fight. Winter's curse. And Winter's Curse landing down on Doc Seer. It's gonna bring him down. Not enough regen to save Mark, so that's gonna be Darkseid in the tra trade off Shadow Demon by RR and Mark on Necrophos. AM 200 gold short to actually get a butterfly. In the Rune of double damage. Rolling Thunder getting forced out. Pangolier. And he's gonna fall as well. 50 seconds without buyback. And they're gonna get force. Oh, AM looking to split push a bit and get his level 25. With a reverend getting spot out of base. 50 seconds without buyback. Oh my. Really looking grim for Neon around here. Radiant's middle barracks are under attack. That's oof. Man of void cooldown, so has 25 already hit. Radiant's middle barracks are under attack. Sven though with the blood. Radiant's thorn. middle barracks has fallen. A partial way to actually. Oh. 
partial way to deal with AM's uh, evasion. That Lotus is really needed for uh, on Necrophos to actually save the AM and whoever needs it. Because that sounds is sure gonna be a problem. Not just for Nec uh, not just Coin for him, but for Necrophos for himself as well. Radiant's bottom shrine is under attack. And AM might actually get oof. Stop gonna get burst down with the Bloodthorn. And yeah, one, two, three seconds. Two minutes on. Radiant's bottom shrine has fallen. Anti mage. With two gay gold in the in pocket. Three minutes before he can buy back once again. Scanning. I, I can hear Pango no rolling. Bums. Cameraman, can you go? Doesn't seem like anything's gonna happen from there. The rule of invisibility. Jenning put down an amber spirit. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Was it? No, no, that was Soul Catcher. My bad. Shaved in. Radiant's bottom tower needs a hand. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. With 30 seconds before Goss rings it up. is for and to be forced to go away after Radiant getting burned down by Soul Catcher. Looking to TP back and get all his health and mana back. And come back in a few spent. Actually pop out the raw strength, but not BKB. So he's gonna bring down the docks here. Necrofoe is getting saved. But will that be enough? Nope, not just yet. Pangolia actually missed the Rolling Thunder. But they got wards, so I think they can probably catch the Earthshaker here. Once again, and that's gonna be 135 seconds for the Earthshaker. One buyback as a loss for Necrophos to be able to save his second ranks. Tier 3 lost them. Forty seconds more before AM can actually buy back once again with one thirty something surplus, and Rush is gonna come up in one and a half minutes. Dyer's middle tower looks to be disintegrating. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. I'm looking to beat Radiant out every single tower he sees inside. Earthshaker with Echo Slam, 80 Dyer's seconds so tower has fallen. Looking to actually Radiant's buy back I suppose. Gonna beat no Ghost Ring for 5 seconds. Ember Spirit actually bringing down the bottom barracks so Probably Neon is now 2 racks is down. Earthshaker actually bought, bought back look. Gets and looking towards any Echo Slam opportunity, but there's not going to be one at the moment. Pangolia actually baiting the enemy team for a bit, but no. TP'd out, and Winter of is going to fall down once again. <laughs> the punching bag for this game. I mean, same goes for Dark Seer, getting Winter's Curse a lot. And when you get cursed right next to your Sven that has this kind of item. That's not something that you're gonna live out of a, out of it. So, yeah, they're kind of exchanging the uh, position of being a punching bag. And yep, it's gonna get saved by disruption. 
him. Dishing out all the damage and brought down the Earthshaker. No buyback on Earthshaker and 96 cooldown. Sven bringing, uh, blinking out and no BKB though, but still has the... Wait, what? Still has the TP scroll. Sinister is gonna glimmer himself and just TP to safety. What surge is this? Might very well be a really nice opportunity to actually push everything out. For Neon. Abyssal Blade gonna be done in a few. But it has to save for buyback. 2.2 KHP, so that's not gonna be enough. The rune of haste. I mean, despite the 67% magic. Ooh, what's that? 67% physical, 69% damage resistance, but doesn't seem to be enough. 72, yeah, all the armor here. Dire scale 42, for enemies. no, 37 armor. Dyer's top shrine is under attack. Is this second or third Roche? Dyer's Sorry, top not shrine sure. is under it attack. Is. Second Roche with the ages and cheese. Dyer's top shrine is under attack. For the dream, doesn't really look to actually commit towards this one. Roshan has fallen to the rain. AM got the ages to secure. Dyer's top shrine that is he under can attack. actually die once more, uh, one more time Radiant's again. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. On top of buyback available, 900 gold. Dyer's top shrine is As under a surplus. attack. But it's kind of hard for them to push with two Raxes down. And disconnected once again. With Pango, with Vladimir, and Crimson Guard intact. Meanwhile, pipe done on Necrophos as well as Lotus Orb. I mean, pipe was a long time ago, and now Lotus Orb. And he's gonna go for Force Staff, actually saving his teammates. Disruptor with the Glimmer Cape. And I think AM is m merely, nearly, yeah, not merely, just nearly. Invincible against magic damage once he's getting glimmered on. <clears throat> Shadow Blade on Earthshaker for some sneaky, sneaky sneaking up. And Atos on Sunter for a bit of offense. And only done on Ember Spirit. Looking to go for the Octarine Core next. As well as Voltaire's Lincoln. So he wouldn't get Scythe by himself. Okay. And for Sven, where, where? trying to go for the... Butterfly, but Gaia's top shrine is under attack. That would be probably at the cost of massive madness, or maybe Echo Saber, and then Satanic, I suppose. Gaia's top shrine is under attack. Double down on Super Spirit spotting. Shrine is under attack. Spotting the raining courier, courier and brought it down. Killed. What's the value though? Not sure Dyer's if someone top shrine is under attack. actually got the item in there. Probably went over burn, but he already got his item. <laughs> Anti mage <laughs> getting rooted down. While Ember Spirit is clearing down the wave, so his top lane is not gonna be pushed down that much. Smoke attempt. Dyer's top shrine is under attack. Dyer's top shrine is gonna get brought down. Fallen. Nothing lasts forever. A mid lane creep. It's gonna be there. With a Vern, got buyback. Mm, and that's friends. gonna land the Winter's Curse. And Urshaker is gonna get brought down. 70 seconds. As well as suspend. Two minutes without uh, for the respawn timer, but he still got buyback though. I'm not sure if you want to waste that, but I think that might be a must. Shadow Demon trying to land the Demonic Perch. Man, nope. Ember Spirit is too fast for you. You're captured in the flame. Dyer's Lotus Orb coming out. Back for more. Back for more, indeed. Sven coming with no Ghost Rank, though. Still 60 seconds. Reverend uh, actually getting forced to go back without because he's without ulti. 
So Guy they're just going to resort to us taking on the shrine and push the sect, uh, tier 2 tower. Guy's bottom shrine is falling. So it wouldn't be the thing staying away f uh, between them and getting the mega creep. Or <laughs> oh, the buyback? Double down on sorcery. So AM still has buyback. Non on Earth Shaker for the moment. Haste! Non for Sven for seven minutes. So this looks to be really good for Neon. For the moment at least. <laughs> Ember Spirit with two side of his charges and going for Octarine. Dyer's bottom said, and BKB done, so more survivability. <laughs> Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower the has fallen. Is around. Oh, hey, I'm actually going to the base. Bold. Dyer's bottom tower. You know what? Don't I'm just gonna hit your the... base just like that. <gasps> Ember Spirit rooting him down twice with a stun. One more stun with a silence. Anything else? Not just yet. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Items coming in. Is Dyer man. even watching? The bottom AM barracks are under out attack. To get some more heals. Gonna heal himself up. I think Aegis is expiring in like a minute or so. It should be in around, yeah, 40, 40 seconds, I suppose. Radiant are scanning for enemies. Yeah. Should be in 40 seconds. Back to net worth. AM still on the top of net worth with 5k, 5 to 6k oh, lead from the second hero in the net worth chart. So now let's see 5x status. Right. Radiance top tower is under attack. AM. You know what? You're just not supposed to be there right beside me when I decided to go for the racks. AM Radiance trying to pop out the dark seer. He's going to be able to do so. 80 seconds on Darkseer. Earthshaker is still with Echo Slam. But still doesn't have the opportunity to do so. With no Darkseer, there is not really any chance for him to do a nice Echo Slam. Sven. Oh, refresher on Silencer for the uh, another Global Silence. So Neon couldn't really go mindlessly again. They might actually spot the Earthshaker. They are there. He's there. But AM is going to be too fast for you. As well as Earthshaker. He's going to actually blink out. But AM is going to burn out that Echo Slam. 98, 97 seconds on AM. But with buyback though. Mia looking to retreat without anything to be lost. Winter's Curse coming out on Sven to buy the time before they can go back. AM is buying back, but the there is no one to actually defend the base. With the creeps coming in. But that wouldn't seem to be any problem. AM already got the episode blade and looking to go to seal the deal this game. Middle middle lane rack still intact. No buyback on AM for seven minutes. But there's still one on Ember though. So that's one thing. Leon has to be careful off. No Echo Slam though. 50 seconds before Echo Slam. But that vacuum into Sven stun, but without Goss Ring, what can he do though? Not gonna be enough. Ember Spirit trying to go for some fist. Pango is gonna break the formation. Not gonna be enough for Sven. BKB will save his life from the Necrofoes. Necrofoes will fall. With the help of uh, Dark Seer, Spirit Bomb coming in, and that's one more Shadow Demon going down, and also Pangolier. Still need 1k for buyback for Necrofo, so this looks to be a bit bad. But AM actually finding Silence. that silencer Such and brought him down once again. 26 seconds before he can go for another Global Silence, but 
Yeah, still 70, uh, 70 seconds on time rip, and he's just gonna buy it back. Nothing more. Invisibility. Double damage, oh Gaben. For God's sake, you're just giving out the uh, the winning team double damage, right? Double damage. When is 49 minutes? Are you sure? <laughs> really? Roshan might be respawning in a minute. Uh, yeah, in a minute. It's gonna be a fast Roshan. For the dream, having no chill. Trying to go for the base. AM. Radiant's top tower is under attack. As she going for the megas. AM getting burst down really fast and he's gonna fall for two minutes. But Earthshaker is gonna fall as well though. The Earth and the buyback as well. The journey as one. Radiant's top tower ain't looking too steady. Angler rolling, you see me rolling. Gonna break the formation. Trying to stall the spend for a bit at least. Necrophobe is coming in. Radiant's middle Wait, tower is not sorry. feeling the love. The lesson not going to do anything just yet. To be disintegrated. Mega creeps. And Dyer now has mega creeps. But the creeps are actually get, wrecking attack. the racks, uh, the base, of for the dream. Necrophobe with the lotus orb actually sun Sven, uh, sunning the spend back. Necro trying to go for the scythe attempt. To reduce cooldown on 40 seconds. Sven actually gonna t uh, TP back and buying the travels. Radiance Ancient is under attack. Searing heat. Mark trying to hold off as a necrophos. Sven uh, looking to break the base. For the dream has no shield. They really want to have this game. Hope you didn't bet on these knuckleheads. Oh god, what am I? Radiant Ancient needs a little help. One more rolling yeah, thunder attempt of... coming out from Pangolier, but Sven is just gonna hit the base just like that, and that's dire victory. For the Dream taking that 